And with no luck of finding retro figures in sight, behold my ring, a new Green Lantern's light. Here's a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Superpowers Green Lantern, Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan was summoned to the crash wreckage of a spaceship belonging to Abin Sur, a member of the Green Lantern Corps. Upon his death, Abin entrusted his ring and his duties as Green Lantern to Hal Jordan. Hal has a new superpowers figure, and probably the person that's most excited by that news is the person behind the camera. The only superpowers figure that I still have from the 80s is the Green Lantern Hal Jordan. I would really have dropped the ball if I didn't bring the figure in for comparison's sake because I've brought him in I don't know how many times already in the earlier Superpowers reviews. But don't worry, I have the figure ready. I've been waiting for this moment. Gonna grab the tape measure first and let's see how tall Hal Jordan stands. I'd also like to thank, if I can, the folks over at McFarlane Toys. They were kind enough to provide this sample that we can have a look at. The figure of Jordan stands actually four inches exactly, or he's 10 centimeters tall. For all the times I've actually brought this guy in for comparisons, it's nice to actually finally bring him in and compare him with his newer self. Here's what Hal Jordan looks like with the original 80s Kenner Superpowers Green Lantern Hal Jordan. Size-wise, they're almost about the same. The newer one we get from McFarlane's team is slightly shorter. You can also see as well that they're using a completely different green. Normally that would have bothered me, but if this was the direction that they wanted to go with with the green, all the power to him. I like the look of the green with the black, the problem with it, though, is that we've already established the universe of the Superpowers Green Lantern with the figure that we got from Jon Stewart. So to set the bar at where this green is supposed to be, moving forward, you would think, why would they then have changed the colors for Hal Jordan? It just doesn't seem like the colors match. I like the green, don't get me wrong. The problem with it, though, is while it does give it sort of more of a vintage look to it, it just isn't matching at all with the colors for Jon Stewart. Bring in some of the other Superpowers figures. Here's what the figure looks like with Superman. Also, as well, the Flash, one of my all-time favorite figures we've gotten from McFarlane's Superpowers line. Here's what he looks like with the blue cowl Batman. We can also bring in Wonder Woman. And here's also what he looks like with Aquaman. So the new Superpowers figures don't have a working gimmick. We've kind of established that by now. At some point, I do hope that that's something that they change down the road. But I understand from a molding standpoint, it's just so much easier and cost-effective just to produce a mold without having to worry about springs and mechanisms on the inside. Something, though, that I was throwing as an alternative out there is while maybe we don't have working gimmicks on these figures, something that the original Kenner figures did have was mini comics. Now, they have done something very similar with the page punchers, although we got normal full-sized comics. If they shrunk ones down and packed them along with the superpowers moving forward, it would just be a nice little added treat to collectors. What at least he gets for a treat is he gets his little green lantern. The Green Lantern, while you may look at this and just assume that it's the same lantern that we got from Jon Stewart, it's not at all. This is the one from Jon Stewart. You can see more resembles kind of the classic looking uh, lantern, while this is a much bigger looking lantern and definitely, again, a darker looking green. The handle, I will say, though, while this one had kind of more of a softer plastic that they used and Unfortunately, mine's a little on the more warped side. The new one, at least from, from John Stewart from Hal Jordan, actually has a nice thick handle, less likely to break. It's a little, again, more stylized of an approach for the Lantern. I don't dislike it, but again, like if you're going to be getting us already one from John Stewart, maybe if anything, just fix the problems with John's. Give him a thicker handle and just release the exact same one. It does fit into his hand, although because this hand is being occupied by holding a ring, it only is going to fit on this one side. Just pick up your figure, your figure, not finger. Pick up your figure and just pry the fingers away from the palm. And then just take the handle of the lantern and just fit it in place. Mind you, of course, it would be helpful if you actually have it fit, flipped around the right way. And you can have the figure displayed that way. Looks good. Colors are also pretty close to between the lantern and his costuming. If, again, you don't mind the fact that the colors aren't going to match. I, I don't really want to spend a lot of time talking about that. I'm probably sure, sure I'm going to probably mention it a couple more times. The paint is really handled nicely here. First of all, with Hal Jordan's face. It probably would help to bring in the original Kenner one so you guys can see. Uh, while the other one was a lot paler, a little bit more pinker, this one got, goes more the approach of kind of a little more of a yellowish tint to it. I can't say that I dislike it. I'm just, again, so used to kind of more of the paler complexion for the original Kenner one. But I think like the colors work really well. It seems almost as if like when they approached Hal Jordan that they wanted to give him a little bit more of a vintage look to it. Which is somewhat ironic because comparing him with the original vintage figure, the original vintage figure had much paler colors. 
You can see like body wise, they're almost similar. I mean, obviously this one is just a little bit tad shorter. The costume is very designed, very similarly that you can see like even between like the two bodies, abdomen areas, like the muscles are about the same. It's almost as if like they had their hands at maybe trying to grab the original molds because like if you're looking at the molds, they're very much identical with one another. They also as well still retain, it's still the double knee, the knee articulation, which like the original vintage figure would have also had as well. Just that the original toy granted would have been able to squeeze the legs and he would be able to swing his arm forward and back to project out the beam of his, of his ring. The newer Green Lantern doesn't do that. It only just, it has the articulation, but it just doesn't have a working gimmick. But again, like the face sculpt is really good on this one. Like the mask is painted fairly well. You get the white eyes there as well. And the nice white emblem there in the front of his chest. I would have normally expected to spot a little bit of paint problems here, especially on the gloves. But the gloves look like they're nicely painted. They're actually a separate piece from the rest of the, uh, from, from the rest of the forearms. You can actually run your finger along it and feel a groove between the two. Also down below here as well on the boots, the boots are not just painted on top of the legs. So they would have had to dedicate obviously a mold here for the lower legs. So like these legs I'm sure aren't going to be able to use with other figures unless those characters just happen to have boots just because again, like they would have had to sculpt them in place. Peggles on the undersides of their feet, but again, like none of these figures do have actual display stands that come included with them. But the articulation here for Hal Jordan is the same with all the other new superpowers figures. Heads rotate all the way around uh, because again, he has no gimmick. You can easily rotate his arms all the way around on both sides. And again, like you can either have them in seated positions for some of the vehicles that we've also gotten from the line so far, but you can also as well bend the knees. A nice little nice, nice treat to see that they have still a bend in their knees. Still, again, like the figures are limited on articulation, but I think the charm in the line still continues to be that they look like the original vintage toy. Finally, I now get the chance to say that and show you the proof is in the pudding. Here's again what he looks like with the original Kenner one. Nice update to the two figures. You know, again, stating the same thing I already had stated, like the colors. I, I like again, like I don't mind the greens, the green and the black and the white work really well for Hal Jordan. Had Hal Jordan been the first Superpowers Green Lantern Corps member that we gotten. But we can't have that conversation because unfortunately he had already been, you know, he's next in line after John Stewart and John Stewart being the col the colors that they set with him. You would just think again, like they would have matched the colors more over to John to Green Lantern Hal Jordan here, because again, like to look at them, I even had commended them in the in the review of John Stewart that they had matched nicely the greens with him and the original Hal Jordan, and then unfortunately now with the new Hal Jordan great looking figure just the greens though are sadly off now i would never make the claim that the new mcfarland superpowers line would replace the original one from ketter because i would still be on the hunt for looking for those original vintage figures if i can find ones at a good price and in pretty decent condition yeah i would still i would still track those down in a heartbeat but what i do like about this line is it gives opportunities to collectors that maybe haven't had the chance to collect the original kenner ones or just like myself find them way too expensive these are a nice little replacement, a nice updated replacement to those original toys. The newer one that we get for Hal Jordan here looks enough like the original toy that you get, you can see where the influences come from. And yet they still ran with the idea and gave him his own updated spin on it. The only thing about the updating spin of it is that the colors just don't again match to Jon Stewart. If this was the only time so far we've gotten a Green Lantern, it would be one thing. But having already again established the color palettes with Jon Stewart... I would just think that they would have matched the colors a little bit more closer to, John, to Hal Jordan. Honestly, really between the two, I like the colors better, I feel, for Hal Jordan. I just like these greens, and they work a lot better with, with the black and the white. But it just won't look as good displaying on the shelf with Stuart. What do you guys think of the color color scheme that they went with for Hal Jordan? Do you like this one, or do you like more of the colors that we went, we got with John Stewart? Let me know down below in the comments section which color scheme you prefer. Big thank you once again to the folks over at McFarlane Toys that did provide the sample of the brand new Superpowers Hal Jordan that we could have a look in this review. The figure is available right now in stores or online, depending on which one you find is an easier outlet to get your figures. But again, he is available if you guys are interested to get one for yourself. If you guys did enjoy this video, I want to throw it a like. If you guys are loving the content you guys are seeing, you would like to stick around for more superpowers. I can tell you by the box that's behind me, we are looking at some more an upcoming review. So make sure you're coming back here on a regular basis. Of course, always doing the things like hitting that bell notification is always the crucial thing to ensure that you're getting those notifications. But I can also as well tell you, Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is usually when you'll find new content on this channel. So make sure you're always coming back here on a regular basis. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.